can we kind of talk about why or how the imagination provides an avenue for 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 dealing with these hard messages? I mean, these are hard for people to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what I think is great about fiction is it kind of it creates a stepping stone, right? So for instance, this is a silly example, but in the morning, um, I like to turn on a soft lamp and then when I'm ready and, and more awake, then I'll turn on the light so I can see more clearly. And I think that's kind of what uh, fiction does, it, is it creates a lens and a preparation to be able to see what's real um, and what the truth is. So, you know, like in, for instance, my poem with the, um, the cardinal and the sexual abuse, that's horrible. And it's really hard to accept that reality. But if we can accept it as a fiction first, then maybe that's a stepping stone to say, okay, but this happens in real life too. What can we do about it? How can we prevent it in the future? Um, and so I think, I think fiction is a wonderful stepping stone to preparing the mind for something that may be um, too terrible to accept like right away, kind of like having a soft light when you wake up in the morning and then having the real light to see the full reality of the day, if that makes sense. 